Randy Vance and I'm in Williston, Florida, about ready to take a tour of the Monterey Boats factory. Now earlier, to get an idea of what goes into a Monterey boat, I met with Earl Blackwell, the Vice President of Manufacturing, and Mark Owens, the Vice President of Design and Engineering. They showed me exactly what to look for as I toured the factory. Monterey always had a cutting edge look. It's about image. How do you define that look? Uh, it's a lot of drawings, a lot of mock-ups. Of course, we benchmarked the competition in the automotive industry. Back when Cadillac first came out with their sharp edges, I think Monterey felt we want that look. Yeah, you guys were one of the first to do that well. Yes, people don't want to do because it's harder to do, but we have some unique lamination process that helps us get that look. We got a lot of inspiration from the Italians. How much of your boat is actually manufactured right here? I would say 85% of our boat. We build everything we can here. You're actually building your own upholstery. What did you do there that made yours stand out? With some skilled sewers and some good prototypers, we were able to take our upholstery to another level, sharper, crisper looking, and not so fluffy. So being able to have your own people in-house instead of outsourcing it gave us an advantage. How do you define quality control for the Monterey brand and then quantify it? We have a quality assurance book that goes with every single boat and every step along the way we actually have the craftsmen or women check off that they did their job. It's hundreds of pages long. But one of the things that we're unique about in the final stages of Monterey production, we have what we call a three audit process and we're one of the few companies that I know of anywhere that has a third audit that we look at it right before we pull the wraps over the boat and we found it to be very beneficial. Now with that in mind, follow me on a tour. Now this is an M6. It's been through hull prep. It's got the release agent on it. It's absolutely spotless. And at this point now, we're taping it for the final stripes. Now the gel coat spray booth right here comes into full action while the factory sleeps. That's so that parts like this hull you see right here are ready for construction first thing in the morning. This has already received its gel coat finish and its barrier coat treatment. One thing you need to note is that the style lines are molded in, not just painted on, to give it a really crisp look. Here, a thin skin coat is being added to the gel coat finish. It provides a foundation for the woven roving and prevents it from printing through to the gel coat during that high temperature curing process. Now this Monterey Cruiser deck has been gel coated, the initial skin coat laid down, then it's cored. The core is all radius, so it'll accept the final structural layer of fiberglass and look just like this. Before any fiberglass part is made, Monterey cuts all of the fiberglass material on this Eastman cutter, so it's precise, consistent, and ready for each boat. Thousands of parts are cut on this three-axis CNC router, so they perfectly meet the specifications for the location and the vessel they'll be mounted in. Once the stringer system is laminated in place, they drill it and fill the voids with expanding foam to strengthen it and eliminate flex and drumming. After the foam is cured, they pull the hole from the mold and weigh it to make sure material has correctly been used. Now this deck is ready to be pulled from the mold. It's on this special dolly so they can flip it over and send it over to cutting and grinding where it'll be prepared to install in the boat. Now before you can drop the deck into the hull, it has to go through cut and grind. There they clean up the edges, cut the holes out for the stereo speakers, reinforce them so that everything stays put, and they've also prepared the hull to receive the loomed wiring harness when it's time. Here, Will is going over the hull with a fine tooth comb, checking all the through hulls to make sure they're in exactly the right spot and there's no blemishes on the hull. Now, in preparation for dropping the deck, 
everything on board is pre-rigged. We're installing the hatches, the hardware, plumbing the cup holders and the hatch drains, installing all the electrical, the stereo speakers, and everything on the helm. Monterey also makes their own battery cables and mates them to the automated on-off switches. At Monterey, they build 95% of everything that goes in the boat. In fact, in this area, Sean and Mason are taking care of the molds that make over 100 small parts per day. It's quite a job. There's a third factory where they make small parts using open and closed molding. They make hatches here and components that go in modules that also go in boats. Monterey uses modular construction in their boats. Complicated parts like this galley are built outside where it's easiest to work on them. Then they're more easily bolted in the boat for the finished product. Monterey builds all their upholstery in-house. That's great for a good custom fit and it's good for customer service because they can repair or replace an older part from your boat. Every boat has every part in a cart ready to go on board before anybody even sprays a drop of gel coat. Now, once the hull has been through assembly and parts inspection, that's PI, it's time for these guys to drop the motor in place. Now, whether the customer chooses a Volvo Penta or a Mercruiser, once the engine's fully installed and the deck is completely rigged, it's time to bond the deck to the hull. Once the engine's installed, it's gonna to go to quality assurance. This is Kevin, he's gonna start the engine, run it up to its engine temperature of 175, and then test all the linkage and the instrumentation. Monterey boat spends at least a half a day in the test tank. There they run test all the systems, the engines, the electrical, the stereo, and they're looking for leaks from below the water line and above. If they find one, they repair it and the test clock is restarted. Now the boat's in its final stage of completion here, but they're not through with it yet. Richard's working on quality control, pressure testing the fuel system for the third time to ensure its integrity. Now I've admired Monterey boats for over 20 years, but this is the first time I've had a chance to tour the factory and see what goes into bringing thousands of parts and hundreds of man hours of labor together into this boat. It's a phenomenal accomplishment and great amount of coordination goes into it. Now that the boat's ready for transportation, let's talk to Kim Lonekin, the Vice President of Sales about Monterey and their dealer network. We've always been a stern drive company up until a couple of years ago when we incorporated the outboard models into our lineup. And the reason we've done that is because some of the territories in Florida, the mid-Atlantic states, some of the northeastern states, the consumer finds that an outboard is a lot easier to maintain by just pulling up to the dock, flushing out the engine, and hosing the boat down and going. We build fun. People go out on our boats. We're creating that fun for them. After touring the factory, it's clear to see that more than nuts and bolts and fiberglass go into a Monterey boat. It's the heart that goes into it, and that comes from Mark Owen, Kim Lonekin, Earl Blackwell, and every man and woman on the Monterey factory floor. I'm Randy Vance. This is the Monterey factory in Williston, Florida.